Welcome back, everybody, to the Pair of Kings podcast. I'm your wonderful co-host, Michael Smith. Do you want to do this? I'm bad at it. Sure. Welcome back, everybody, to the Pair of Kings podcast. I'm your host, Saul Thompson, and this is the Hero Hero episode. For this episode, I'm joined by my wonderful co-host, Michael Smith. Also for every episode, <laughs> but uh, also for this episode. Um, so we are doing serious fashion content. Um, but you got to pay for it. You got to pay for it. You get 15 minutes free and then, and then you got to pay for it. Um, it's $4 a month over at hero hero.co forward slash P O K with that sign up, you get automatic entry into all of our giveaways this month. We are giving away, uh, two things. The first thing is store credit to Fugazi. The winner of this giveaway will get $250 in store credit to Fugazi. We'll send you a code. It's very easy to redeem. Um, and you can buy whatever you'd like, um, from maybe the, the, the stuff, the stuff I, I wore, that'd be cool. That'd be really sweet. I'd appreciate that. You a can lot. get the stuff explicitly that was worn by Saul. That's all. That's the only stuff you can get, but it actually. costs extra. Um, so this episode comes out to the general public or this announcement comes out to the general public on, uh, October 15th. Damn. October <laughs> 15th. Um, you will have until. Monday, the 21st of October to enter. There will be another giveaway the very next week. So back to back, you're, you're going to get, you know, you sign up for half the month. You get two giveaways already. That's, that's double your value. That's pretty good. Yeah. You don't have to do anything. That's you just have $2 to dollars a giveaway. Yeah. That's $250. That's, you know, that's a pretty good deal. Thank you so much to Hero Hero for enabling us to do that. Um, what we are going to do on this episode of the Pair of Kings podcast, Hero Hero exclusive, as Leo sucks on my jeans, is give a grade it's so disgusting. My thighs are starting to get wet. Um, give a grade to every single show at Paris Fashion Week. Um, Last time we did every single show at Paris Olympics, and now we're <laughs> doing every show at Paris Fashion Week. Yeah, we gate we we <laughs> we make all of our our lovely uh, our lovely hero hero subscribers listen to the French, listen to us compliment the French. I'm really sorry. <laughs> <laughs> at least in the at least in the Olympic Olympics ones, we were complimenting a large swath of different countries' mm. athletes who mm. were forced to be in France. <laughs> in this one, we will unfortunately be saying nice things about a number of French people, mm -hmm. and I'm I'm so sorry for that. Yeah. So um, if you'd like to sign up and join, it's herohero.co forward slash pok. It's four dollars a month. It really helps us quite literally keep the lights on. Um, and do more fun stuff like this, do more giveaways. And the next giveaway, hopefully, going to be s stuff that we've made. So um, it won't just be one person winning it, hopefully. Yep, yep. We'll figure it out. Big things coming. Watch this space. Mm -hmm. uh, should we just jump right in? We got We got a lot of shit. We got to do a fit check. Oh, fuck. Yep. Uh, okay, great. So I got a, a dachshund, uh, five years old. Uh, not quite vintage yet. He's sucking on my jeans. I'm wearing my Strike Gold Keeper. That's jeans. much more of a licking action. He's licking on your jeans. So he does this thing sometimes where he'll like lick the same spot over and over and over, yeah. and it'll it'll get wet through. And yeah, then he's he'll done do it this. To me. He'll do this in bed where he goes and he does like a rapid biting motion, and then he'll pause and like hold it in his mouth and just let all the saliva he's on like his suckling. tongue seep in. Yeah, exactly. It's Ugh. revolting. Um, if you'd like to hear this, um, sorry, I realize this is for the video listeners. Here you go. And he stopped. Yeah, he gets he gets shy. But it's it's like a noise. Um, that's great. So uh, I'm wearing those jeans. I'm wearing a, a vintage belt that has a, a trout on it, and then I'm wearing a, a denim shirt from the '60s. It's a uh, pearl snap little. I forget what it's called. Like a sawtooth. Uh, chest button pattern um and i split the back um when i was at a friend's birthday party and i have this bit where i've been collecting photos of uh me in full-length mirrors at bars and restaurants if there is one i will um de, de clothe um and then take a photo in the full-length mirror usually of of my posterior my posterior and uh the bit is once i accumulate enough i want like 20 or 30 of the photos go through and put a review on Belly, which is a restaurant rating app um, in New York City. And you're giving away the sauce. Yeah, it's fine. I mean, I don't think anybody's going to beat me to the punch for posting ass photos on Belly. Yeah, fair enough. Um, and <laughs> just for any bar restaurant that I've managed to take these in. Um, How is this related to your shirt ripping? 
I'm, I'm getting to it. Okay. Um, post the comment, uh, like food or drinks were great depending on the institution, but the buns were even better. Um, and then it's a photo of my butt. So I was going and I pulled my shirt over my head and half of the shirt came off. It's a snap button shirt. Yeah. The most fun part about a snap button yeah. shirt. So is, I'm showing the I'm showing all the borrow stitches on the back. Uh, the most fun part about a snap button shirt is yeah. ripping it open from the snap buttons. Correct. And you chose not to do that. Yes. And you were punished. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Good. Yep, yeah. Just checking. Do you think they can see? Yes, the, they can see. I did a lot of work on it. Yeah. No. Yeah. I have one little section that I need to repatch because yeah. it grew a little bit. So it goes. Um, and my first attempt at borrow stitching. Thank you for the help. Marquise, thank you for the help, uh, Michael. Thank you for the help, dude on YouTube that did all the tutorials. Nice, it was great. Go us, Michael. You want to do? You want to do fit check? Yeah. Oh, and then I have a mustache. Yeah, he has a mustache. Yeah, I'm going as uh, mustache LeBron for the basketball tournament. Oh, I'm fuck. wearing uh, my cowboy boot Crocs. I'm wearing Balenciaga viscose fluid viscose pants that are basketball shorts at the top. Uh, I'm wearing a Balenciaga employee uniform long sleeve shirt. That they give to employees, and then over that, I am wearing a uh, Balenciaga World Food Program short sleeve T-shirt, and I just got a haircut. Nice. I'm kind of like if Samson had a podcast. What happens when you cut your hair? You do less podcast. I get so much worse at podcasting. <laughs> watch this. Watch me. Watch me. I get so much worse at podcasting until uh, a certain point during the podcast where I get to lean against a pillar and pray, and then I get way better at podcasting, and then I bring the whole podcast down. Yannick, can you throw up the photo of um, Yves Saint Laurent at, uh, was it Balenciaga's funeral, where he's like posted up hard as hell? That's Michael, like key charging for the podcast. Just throw it up. Um, all right. Yeah. So official calendar, uh, I assume there are... Um, I guess, pardon my poor French pronunciation, a fuck ton of shows. Um, <laughs> so we're going to get started. Um, yeah. For if you're listening to this, not behind the Hero Hero paywall, you'll probably get like four, five of these, maybe if we blow through real quick. Um, so we're starting with the first. We're going by the shows or by the by the official calendar. So um, we're doing Wien Santo, Wine Santo. Wine Santo. Ain't that the, don't they make soybeans? That's Monsanto. Um, this is Harvey Weinstein broke off. Oh, yeah. okay. I feel uh, really bad. They're probably lovely people. And we yeah. just the wine Sando sing spring summer twenty five. Um, I do. Oh, they had they had Louboutin. Uh, they had a Louboutin, Louboutin collab. I don't think they're collabs. Maybe they just styled with just them. Just had the shoes from them. Yeah. Um. Yeah. This is cool. I like this. Um. There's some there's some goofiness going on, which I appreciate. <laughs> Go back. So we have we have look four, which is like geek with a bunch of clothes hangers. Yeah, and it looks like she has like a metal mouth guard in. No, no, I think that's a that's a like a like a oh like an ear mic. Yeah, like an instructor, okay. an aerobics so it instructor. Looks, style yeah, it looks mic. like fairly odd parents headgear, and then it's like the most beautiful woman you've ever seen in look five directly and after. Then all of these they're they're carrying these bags that look like shit. Oh, that's cool. Mm -hmm. Whatever that bag is that's like floating off. This the is look nine. This is cool. Okay, <laughs> look eleven. Is the Eiffel Tower upside down as a an umbrella? Uh, yeah, I think so. I mean, so I like a lot of the structuring. Oh, that's a boob. Um, like a lot of the structured um tailoring here. I we commented on the Louboutins. Actually, wait, that looks sick. Uh, look eighteen. Uh, mm -hmm. beautiful like corset. Um, jacket number. I like the styling. Hair is great. Um, I've never heard of Wine Santo. Wine Santo. Um. Oh, a lot of this stuff hell is yeah. extravagant. Look with the big ass hat. A lot of this stuff is extravagant in a big way. I've noticed. So I have I have a lot of thoughts about certain shows, and then small thoughts about certain ones. It was just hard to go through mm -hmm. fifty shows um, and write out full thoughts. Um, but I mean, like looking through this stuff is impressive. I don't know if it's visually distinctive as Ween Santo. I I don't know their design language, so I can't speak to like a history. Um, but it's a cool, I think, medium between being fun and playful and serious and quite on the nose in terms of trends and keeping in line with what is popular and what is not, like corsetry, um, structured blazers, things like that. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I'm I'm pretty impressed. This, like this, this looks yeah. cohesive and good. Um, that's a great look. 36. Um, it's like a white wedding dress. Sheer. Yeah. I love when they do wedding dress. The head thing. I mean, this is this is great. I I don't love the pattern stuff that we're looking at. Yeah, the in pattern the 30s. stuff's kind of bad. Um, 
But I mean, for the most part, a lot of this stuff looks great. Um, I'm a fan. I'm very curious why this is not on Vogue. Uh, sometimes I think they need to be like big enough and also have space for the Vogue photographer. Yeah. And the videographer, like it's a weird non-compete, as I understand it, or something. Mm, interesting. So, um. I don't know. I think we're doing grades. We're not ranking. We're just doing grades. I'm very comfortable. You understand that grades are ranking. Well, ranking is in comparison to all the others and then striating it within the ranks itself. So you'd say this one is in 27th place and that would assume that there's a 26th and 25th. Right. Um, if you're just giving it a grade, all grades that get a B are a B. Okay. All right. Fair enough. Dickhead alert. Uh, I'd be very comfortable giving this a B. Yeah, I'd give this um, a B. I, I like it. It's fun. Um, I will say that we're missing, I think, a lot of context and we may not be able to give it a, a fair Yeah, there's going to be a few here that, that we don't know. And yeah. that's part of the charm of Pair of Kings. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, okay, listen. Uh, I read fashion history. Michael knows a lot about fashion. Um, this is like going into um, a season of soccer or a season of basketball and asking you, like, Hey, so that seventh man off the bench they just called up from the the minor league, what do you think of the intricacies of his game and how he fits in? It's like, we don't fucking know. We can make educated guesses based on what we already know. I have notes here about like the late 90s and the fabric craze that was going on. I'll talk about that because I know that. I don't know. I, I'm sorry. I, I, I have not closely followed Wayne Santo. They're cool. I will probably end up following them and follow what they're doing because I like that show. But as of this point, I did not have any context or knowledge of what the fuck was going on. Uh, Presiat Spring Summer 25, also not on Vogue. Uh, I think we just skipped those that are not on Vogue. Okay, because it's hard to find a consistent good website for that. Okay, Vacara. Um, now, I haven't, I haven't seen a Vacara show in a very long time. Uh, oh, Leo, you're boiling fucking hot. Oh, my God. This fur coat is insane. Look eight. Uh, I don't know it off the top of my head. I'm showing it to you. Ah, uh, sorry, I was leaning because Leo's made me. Oh shit, it's huge. It's Literally, so good, size wise. Um, very voluminous. Uh, season. I feel like yeah. So volumes back. Something volumes back. Um, but then people being extremely skinny and those like hyper tailored looks are quite back. Yeah, um, a thing like, that I've seen in a lot of the other shows has been uh, very sheer pants. Um, off the top of my head, Balenciaga did a lot of like mm -hmm. underwear looks. Obviously, like Ludovic de Saint-Sernan, try, try not to do low-rise, really skinny-cut jeans on androgynous models. Um, challenge failed. Um, but a lot of highlighting the body, um, either through corsetry or like exaggerated proportions. Look 15 here is like classic Vaquera in my mind. Um, mm. It's like a a nightgown that is also a t-shirt that potentially even has this blazer attached to it. It looks mm -hmm. like it's all one piece. It's at least... <laughs> one piece mentioned. Uh, but Sorry. like like this like t-shirt dress that is also like a nightgown dress and then the blazer that's like the exact same shape. Um, really good. I like that a lot. Mm. Um, very shapeless, uh, but like very like tongue in cheek, I guess, which is mm -hmm. what I'm used to seeing from Vaquera and what I enjoy in Vaquera. So I, I remember looking through the Vaquera thing and it reminds me of the one that you just pulled up. Look, um, sorry to pull and tap. What is that? Look 22. A lot of brands like Lacoste is another example and we'll get to it, have done this weird thing where they're like, we're doing streetwear, but it's fashion. And they're like pushing it too far outside of like t-shirt and jeans. Mm. And it's like this weird regression to the mid 2010s where everybody was just like slapping layers on everything. And it's like, now it looks good. Cause it's a shirt over a button down over a shirt over pants. And there's also a skirt somehow in there. Like, it's too much, mm. in my opinion. And I'm sure I'm going to come around and in six months be like, actually, I really like when it's a bunch of shit on a top of a bunch of shit. It's, it's too busy, and I think it's overstyled. Um, Fashion think, is when layers. Yeah. I think that some of the looks in the Vaquera show are overstyled. They and got the kills. Supreme. They got the Supreme. Uh, Look 29, Yannick. Sorry. <laughs> they got the Supreme print. 
The chains. The chains. That sucks. I'm that sorry. That sucks. Yeah. Look, twenty. Look, thirty four is really bad. So there's this brand called. Oh, uh, sorry. We're gonna cut this here before I talk shit about this brand that I don't like. Um, buy all hero hero non subscribers. If you'd like to hear me about to dump on a bunch of of really shitty clothes from this brand I don't like, go and subscribe. Uh, hero hero.co forward slash be okay. Okay, love you.